Gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world! It's your boy Mega Crash, and I welcome you guys back to a brand new video, baby. We have ourselves some exciting news, so let's get to it. Smash the hell out of the like button, guys, if you are down with hyped Pokemon Go stuff. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am so hyped to present you guys with some Community Day news. We have ourselves the next Community Day announcement, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's featuring my boy Trico, baby! Woo! This is absolutely amazing. Oh my god, because, okay... First off, you know, Trico is one of the coolest starter Pokemon that there is, right? One of the coolest grass-type Pokemon that there is. And it's Evolution, Grovile, and then into Sceptile, man. Man, I love all three of them designs, man. And, ladies and gentlemen, if you thought their designs were cool, well, get this, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at their shiny colors. Like, take a look at Trico, then take a look at Grovile, and take a look at Sceptile, baby. It is just absolutely amazing and here's the thing okay is that i think by now we have figured out the pattern we've figured out the code as to what it is their exclusive moves are going to be because here's the thing is that uh trico is a grass type starter right gen 3 grass type starter and the t the previous two grass type starters end up getting access to the move frenzy plant so how much y'all want to bet that Frenzy Plant is going to be the exclusive move up in this, huh? Huh? I, I would bet my bottom dollar on that shiz nickel, man. So, when it comes to the bonuses, we have the standard three-hour lore bonuses. that They last three hours. That is the entirety of the whole event. And also, ladies and gentlemen, the other bonus is one quarter egg hatch distance. So, basically, the functionality of the incubators is increased four times. So, if you were to hatch a 2km egg, then it would actually end up taking 500 meters. And if you were to hatch a 5km egg, it would only take 1.25km and so on and so forth. You know, for the 7Ks and the 10Ks. But basically what I'm trying to say, it's a pretty kick-ass bonus if you guys are into hatching eggs, baby. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are hyped. And here's the thing, is that this actually takes place on March 23rd, 2019. Well, obviously 2019, because that, that, that's, that, that's our year, baby! And apparently, we have 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. actually being a global time. So it's going to be 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. depending on your time zone. Like, that is the flat time globally. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this change is going to affect people. But... Here's the thing, man, is that as long as you're able to go out there, you're able to compete, get yourself some shines, and have yourself some fun, man, then that is the main thing up in this. Now, I hope, okay, I hope that I'm able to compete in this event because I have been waiting for a very, very long time for this Pokemon to have its own damn Community Day event, and it's arrived. It has finally arrived, baby. Woo! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so actually, before we end the video off right here, I want to touch base on this here real quick. This popped up in my feed, and I figured it'd be a good thing to kind of just mention to you guys. So, we actually have ourselves Latios that is going to be staying in raid battles until March the 1st. So, it was originally scheduled to be just like a weekend event thing, but... As it turns out, it's more than a weekend. It's going to be until March freaking 1st, man. So, I mean, this gives us a little bit more time to hunt down shiny Latias. Now, the thing is, is that the, the, the question that I have is, is Palkia still going to be available? Or is Latias just completely taking over the level 5 raid tier of battles? Do let me know in the comments down below if, if Palkia is still active in the raid battles or if it is just Latias in general. So, with that being said, guys, that's going to be a wrap up here for this quick little video. I want to say thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button and all that stuff. And if anything happens to come up, I will keep you guys in the loop once I get the scoop and all that good stuff, man. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next up, dude.